Hey guys, what's up? It's me, and it is time for Ruby Cheat. Not. <laughs> Yang trailer. That's what I meant to say. It's time for the Yang trailer. So I have the video already and they were gonna, I don't remember when they were originally planning to release their Yang trailer, but um, it's today. So this is uh, October 14th. Uh, for all first members, the first episode of volume five is out. I haven't seen it yet. I wanted to wait to see um, the Yang trailer first, uh, but I'm excited. All I knew about it was that um, she was in her like volumes one through three outfit, which I love. And <laughs> Uh, she, which is in the thumbnail, so it's not even a spoiler. And according to the description, it says that you know Ruby is unstoppable with her scythe, but Yang knows the true power of hand to hand combat. In the midst of a weapon free training session, can Yang convince her sister the importance of fighting without a weapon? And that's actually very relevant because if you remember volume two, like Ruby didn't have her weapon. She tried to punch Roman and was. I love her, but she was useless. So this is gonna be very interesting to see. I'm excited to see all the fight animation and I'm just ready to go. It's been a day. I'm ready to party. Let's do this. Bumblebee. Mood. You totally could have dodged that. <laughs> Yang, I already told you. I'm just not cut out for hand to hand. Why can't I just use my beautiful crescent rose? <laughs> exactly why I wouldn't let you bring it. <gasps> I'm Mood. gonna be leaving for Beacon soon. Aww. I want to make sure my little sis could hold her own while I'm gone. Aww. Right, this was before. Fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, that smirk! Jesus! <laughs> nice one, sis! You're not always gonna be able to run away from your problems, though. Sometimes you just have to stand your ground and fight. You're no one to talk. Alright, enough rest. Get back out here. Sneak attack! Sneak attack! Sneak attack! Oh, it's gonna be grim, isn't it? Ruby? Yep. Oh shit. They really upped the smoke and I'm digging it. That was very smooth and I love it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Oh, her hair looks so good. God, the comp on this is awesome! Okay, so it technically has three stages, that's cool. You're just hitting the plating, Yang! Jesus! Ooh! That's not good. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> it can sense your fear! Come on, Ruby. Semblance, 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 semblance. I've always got your back, sis. Yeah. 
I have been waiting for like a really good fight scene. Like I know that we got one with Weiss and we got one with Ruby because there's the whole um Beringo, I believe it's called. I just I, I can never say it right. And but, but there wasn't really any grim fights, but this was a really, really good fight, and it was me and the truth being that ass and I missed her being happy and good and everything is pure in the world again. And <laughs> God, she was she literally threw herself into the mouth of a Beowulf! <laughs> like, that took all of her aura. Like, it broke through and she was like, no, 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 no. She hit it back with enough- like, it bit her down with the force enough to break its own arm and immediately kill the whole thing. And she- just, mm -hmm. She just- Even if, which I vaguely remember this being the case, even if Yang's semblance like re reflects the damage that she takes like tenfold or even twofold, it still would have been real London. And baby Ruby was really cute and I'm dying. And I missed Yang's old outfit, but she looks so good now in that. God, that hair, that hair. My, one of my favorite things about Poser though was like the way that the hair moved when they walked, because it was always just kind of like whoosh, very peaceful and almost like it was in the water. And they just, it looks really, really good in this season. And it looked really good last season. It looks like especially good this season, especially with Yang, because like it had like all of the, not cowlicks, but I guess cowlicks that her hair had like lots of the really, like the ends of the curls or like they flip outwards and it, it was really good and she looked awesome and I'm very happy because now we have models for all of original Ruby Girls in Maya which I feel like partially was done for the trailers and partially done because they were like what what can we do now with it which makes me very happy and this also gives me the final bit that I need to work to finish up an A and B that I was working on I've been working on it with the Ruby Weiss Blake and Blake trailer but I wanted to wait for Yang so I could have like all four in there because I don't really want to put too much stuff from volume four in it and I'm not going to put any of volume five but this makes me happy because I can do that and I'm very hyper and I'm very excited and that was very good and I love Yang Xiaolong so much and that was so beautifully choreographed I want to know if that footage of that is out there and I want to I, I want to know like how much of that was like done specifically for this and how much of that was like mocap stock but i am very excited to see where this goes and she's going after ruby because she always wants to have her back and it was before she left for beacon so it was probably like the summer between signal uh, when signal when she graduated from signal and when she went to Be beacon and she, she just wanted to be sure that ruby was going to be okay by herself and even after all of that lessons ruby's just like i'm i'm, I'm not good with hand-to-hand -hand combat i'm just gonna keep my scythe and that's i feel like that might not necessarily be a huge thing that's a problem in the season but i feel like gangs would be like listen also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the gauntlets and how well that was done? That was done like in a couple stages, which is very nice because you could see it more closely. And I remember uh, hearing Sean and Gio talking about how difficult it was to uh, do the weapon transformations in Maya and getting them to work because they had to go through like three different teams of getting approved. Like they had to ask the animators, they had to ask the directors, they had to ask the art team to make sure that everything worked out properly. So it was like how it was on Poser and usually what would happen is one or two teams would say yes and the other team would say no and it's like... I imagine it was a pain, but it looks really, really nice, and I'm dying, and I want to go do another Yang photo shoot, but I can't, because I'm on the other side of the country, and <laughs> so I'm very excited about Yang Xiaolong, and that volume 5 is literally going to start in 10 minutes for me. So I'm... <sighs> that was really good, and baby Ruby, and I just, I love big sister Yang. It's very important to me that they have that very good sibling relationship, because I, I am a little sister. My sister's six years older than me. It's not the same age gap between Yang and Ruby. And my sister will never watch Ruby. I've asked her to, she never will. But um, it's very nice, like, as a little sister to see characters like Yang, because, like, my, my sister's not very aggressive, I guess, is the term. I'm the one who did, like, martial arts when I was younger. But it was kind of like, it's still, still that knowledge that, like, in most cases, your older sibling, like, has your back. And it's like, it's like seeing that, it's kind of just like a nice, really feel, like, a nice feeling that just kind of adds, like, an extra little step up for me, just because of my own personal experiences. So that's very always reassuring to see, and I love to see their relationship together, and I want them to fight together more, because I know that we saw the team attacks in Volume 2, and that was Bumblebee, Ice Flower, um, Ladybug, but we didn't get to see Ruby and Yang fight together, so I'd like to see a combo fight between them. I think that'd be very interesting to see. Um, oh, we also saw Freezer Burn, but I, I don't know, I think it'd be very interesting, because they have very different fighting styles, but I feel like if they combine them a certain way, it could be very interesting, especially combining Ruby's speed with Yang's pure force, she could give her like an extra push to deliver like a final blow and it would be awesome. Kind of like how Blake did in volume two, but with her ribbon, but Ruby, you know, with her semblance, which would make it even cooler. So I'm very excited for this season. I am talking very fast. This is going to be a short video because there wasn't like emotion, too much emotional weight to it, but Yang was literally willing to die for her sister. 
like we, we knew that we kind of knew that was the case it was always a thing but like that's that's not just like a thing that was with blake like it wasn't just like oh this is this is someone i really really care about like i will go in there to protect him it's literally it's basically the persona meme yang is the person like you have become friends with yang Long. yang Long will now die for you so i'm very excited and like just imagine like i don't know if they told their dad about that story because i feel like yang would want to leave out like the fact that she knows that she can take damage. She knows that whatever is dealt, she can take it. She, like, I feel like her mentality is similar to another one from the, uh, to Magnus from the Adventure Zone, where it's just kind of like, they're not strong enough. I have to be. I feel like that's a lot of Yang, and that's a lot of this, what this trailer showed. And I'm very excited. And she's very worried about Ruby, and I want them to reunite and be a happy family together. And... I'm gonna go watch volume 5 and probably die inside. So I will see you guys next week. This is gonna be one of two videos uploaded today or this weekend because I have the Ruby Chibi season finale that's also gonna be uploaded, but I wanted to put this one up first since it seems a little bit more relevant. Um, and I will see you guys next week for volume 5 because as a friendly reminder, while it's out for first members now and it will be up on the RT site, I believe, tomorrow, it is not up until YouTube until next week and all reaction people are supposed to wait like that full week, which I don't mind because with midterms, going on right now. I need that extra week to edit if I don't really have a lot of time. So I will see you guys next week for the premiere. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, one more thing, that song was awesome and it's gonna be stuck in my head and I think it's called Eyes of Fire because that's kind of what it was. And all of the songs from this volume sound awesome because well, even though like Weiss's was really, really good, I cried, I wanna, I wanna do a video with it like immediately and Ruby's was instrumental, but Blake's was really, really good. It was like, show them how you smile if only for a while. And it was like, it was very angry and very righteous vengeance. And Yang's was straight up just like, I will kick your ass, which all of her songs usually are, which makes me very hyped. I was marathoning armed and ready before I sat down to do this. I am very happy with how this is. I am cannot wait for the soundtrack and the opening to volume five is probably going to kill me. Anyway, let's get back to saying goodbye. So I'm just gonna die. Bye. <laughs>